Let's go back to the cross. Come on, CJ. Come on up, son. Here you had Jesus on the cross. Amen. Mm -hmm. Flesh and blood, spirit and water. The book of scripture says there, this is he that came by water and blood. Not by water only, but by water and blood. And the spirit bear witness, mm -hmm. for the spirit is true. It's truth. Yeah, right. Then he said, there are three that bear witness on earth. Mm -hmm. The spirit, spirit and the water. Spirit, that's God. That's right. The water, that's flesh. And the blood. And the blood. And these three. These three elements. Agree in one. These three do what? Agree in one. What do you mean? Those three elements is in somebody. That's right. It says it's in one. In one. They're located in somebody. That's right. Now we're going to show you when those three elements came out. That's right. Um, it says it's in one. In one. Now we're going to get it out of one. Out of one. Huh? That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Go ahead, brother. Glory, glory, glory to God. First, read that again. And then we're going to go to the book of St. John. Amen. Where all three elements that John talked about that was in them, it came out. That's right. Let's go back to St. John again. And give chapter and verse. Back in 1 John chapter 5 and verse 8. Listen. And there are three that bear witness in earth. I want you to pay attention. Three that bear witness in earth. The, the spirit. Spirit, that's God. And the water. Water, that's in something natural. And the blood. And the blood. And these three agree in one. Now hold it. If it says these three agree, then spirit water and blood work simultaneously they work together they work together in order for us to be made something in other words the spirit don't contradict the purpose of the blood and the blood don't contradict the purpose of the water and the water don't contradict the purpose of spirit because they in agreement and to be in agreement you got to have a mission Spirit, water, and blood was designed to participate in a mission. That's right. Two elements work together to clean. Mm -hmm. The other element was designed to keep you clean. Right. Huh? Right. But the water, blood, and spirit was in one. And the one that it was in is Jesus. I'm going to prove it because to be in, it got to come out, right? Come out. That's right. Now, in St. John chapter 19, listen, and at verse 34, what is it? But one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side. Hey, listen, hold, hold, hold. Mm -hmm. he, he did what? One of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side. One of the soldiers with the spear pierced his side. Pierced his side. And forthwith, and forthwith, came there out, came there out, blood, blood, and water. Blood and water was in the one. That's right. Huh? That's right. But now we got to give the spirit. That's right. Because he yelled that up. In the book of St. Matthew. Huh? That's right. And we already got the blood and water. That came out. You see, viewers, the reason why when they pressed him at the side, out came blood and water. In order to get blood, you have to get water. You that say you don't got to be baptized, then how are you going to get the blood? That's right. Amen. Tell me, Amen. how are you going to get blood Amen. without water? Amen. When they pierced the men aside, out I came blood, blood and, water, and water. And it got to agree. Agree in one. Amen. Got to agree. It got one. to agree. That's right. Glory to God. Now, blood and water came out. Blood and water. But he consists of blood, water, and spirit. And spirit. Listen. Matthew chapter 27 and at verse 46. What is it? And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice. Jesus cried with a loud voice about the ninth hour. Saying, Eli, 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 That is to say, my God, Holy. my God. The flesh was hanging there yeah. as a mediator yeah, that's right. between God and man. That's right. God was in that flesh. That's right. Now God is laying down his life. That's it. Eh? That's it. He's laying down the flesh. That's right. God was the inner man, the flesh was the outer man. That's right. And the outer man had the name on the of the inner man. That's right. Eh? That's right. The flesh was temporary. Mm -hmm. So here he's crying out. Cried with a loud voice. With a loud voice, Eli, Eli, my sabachthani. That is to say, my God, my Oh, wait God. a minute. Mm. Flesh is crying out to a nature superior to itself. That's right. That's right. 
My God. My God. My God. Why hast thou forsaken me? Come here, Carter. Go ahead, brother. Here you had the flesh. <clears throat> and when he cried out, mm -hmm. God was the inner man. That's right. And when he yelled it up, the spirit came out. Came out. <laughs> flesh was still there. That's right. Still there. That's right. Are you getting me? Go ahead. Still there. That's right. What did he say? My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? What happened? Jesus, when he had cried again. All right. When he had cried again. With a loud voice. What did he do? Yielded up the ghost. Hold it. There was two cries made. That's right. The Bible said when a man die, mm -hmm. his spirit go upward. Upward. Now. You had the function of God as natural spirit or natural breath. That's right. Now, that's what it said when he cried again. Cried again. He gave up the ghost, his natural breath. That's right. But when he cried the first time, mm -hmm. God came out. God came out. Because see, God had to go to another world. That's right. Where the sun couldn't preach. That's right. Why? The sun was local. That's right. The sun can only be in one place at a time. That's right. But the spirit had to go to the world of the dead. That's right. What you mean the world of the dead? Starting from Adam? Starting all the way from Adam. That's right. Huh? That's right. Starting all the way from Adam's death. Go ahead. The spirit go to the lower parts of the earth. That's right. The preacher of those spirits that was in prison. In the book of First That's Peter. why John said he was the first begotten of the dead. That's right. When Jesus rose, all the dead didn't rise after him. No. Some of them did. No. Just left an example. So here you had the body lost natural life, blood, and lost the eternal life, spirit. spirit. And the spirit went to the lower parts of the earth preaching. That's right. In yeah. That's now. The body taken off the cross, yeah. laid in the sepulchre. The spirit was busy preaching, preaching, talking to Moses, oh, yeah. talking to Abraham. That's right. Talking to Isaiah. That's right. Talking to Job. Talking to the harlot of Rahab. That's right. Huh? Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. The scripture says right. in three days that's right. he shall be made perfect. perfect. Renning in three days. Go ahead. I'm going to come back complete. He lost the natural life. That's right. The life of all flesh lies in the blood. In, the blood. in order for him to live again, mm -hmm. a life source had to come from somewhere. That's right. There was only two life sources. Yes. Blood and spirit. spirit. When blood was in him, his flesh was called natural. 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 Troll. That's right. Huh? That's right. He lost the blood on the cross. So a source had to come. Yes. Stronger. Yes. Who had to come? The resurrection. The huh? That's right. The resurrection. That's right. So if he lost the blood, the only thing that was placed in the grave was flesh and bones. And the flesh and bones was called a it. Right. Yes. That's right. 15 chapter 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and at verse 42. Listen. So listen. Up. That's right. Listen. Go ahead. Listen. Go ahead. The flesh and bones was called a uh, it. Come, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, Jeez, come here. Come here brother. You got to put him in a sepulcher. Sit down here. <laughs> Glory to God. Put him in a sepulcher. Go ahead, brother. Huh? Go ahead. Put him in a sepulcher. Stay there three days and three nights. Glory to God because you won't be made perfect until the third day. Now, while his body of flesh and bones was in one place, the spirit preached to those other spirits that was in prison. In prison. That body wasn't doing nothing. That's you right. know why? He had no use for it. That's right. He had no use for it. That's right. The body was there in one spot. One spot. Here the spirit was down there preaching. Preach. And after the time was up, three days come, <laughs> here come the spirit. Come. I got a full for the prophets. That's right. <laughs> huh? That's right. Get in that body. Now, it was so natural. So natural. What you mean it was natural? The flesh and the bones 
were natural. natural. And the flesh and bones still had the title Mary's son. That's right. Because that flesh and bone that was laying there still was the same body. Yes. That Mary birthed. That's right. Huh? That's right. Give me the book of Corinthians, son. First, first Corinthians chapter 15 and Everybody verse 42. All right? yeah. Come on, son. So also, so also is the resurrection of the dead. Is the resurrection of the dead. It. Hold it. 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 It is sown. Here's your it right here. That's right. The it will go down one thing, but the it will come back another. That's right. It was sown. It is sown in corruption. In corruption. It. It is raised. Is raised in incorruption. In incorruption. It. It is sown. It's sown in dishonor. It shows you a difference in the function of the it. That's right. It is sown in dishonor. It the it is raised is in, raised in glory. In glory. It it is sown in it's weakness. Sown in weakness. It it is raised in power. It's raised in power. It. It is sown a natural body. It's sown a natural body. It. It is raised. It's raised how? A, a spiritual body. Hold it. Hold it. Spiritual body. Now here come the spirit. Go ahead. Getting in the it. Yes. And the it consists of flesh and bones. That's right. But the prayer had to be answered. Glorify thou me with thine own self. That's right. Have with thy own self. With thine own self. Here come the spirit. Go ahead. Getting in the it. That's right. Raising it. Go ahead. Now, he went down natural. But there was something different. And Paul compared his resurrection to seed. That's right. Off. To show you the change that took place. Paul compared his resurrection to seed. But some man will say. Listen. Now in 1 Corinthians 4, 15 and verse 35. Listen at this. But some man will say. Some man will say. How are the dead raised up? How are the dead raised? And with what body do they come? With what body do they come? If you think you go down and come up the same thing, how do Paul feel about you? Thou fool. <laughs> That's right. You think you'll go down and come up the same thing what the Paul said? Thou fool. You the fool. Fool. What else? That which thou sowest is not quickened. That which you plant is not quickened. Is not quickened. Except it except die. Except it die. And that which thou sowest. And that which thine soul. Thou sowest not that body that shall be. Mm, the body that went down was not the body that shall be. That, that's right. It was not the body that shall be. But bear grain. Now, if you plant corn, go ahead, brother. Do you go around planting stalks? No way. You ain't going around planting stalks, are you? No, no. You put that seed or grain, and before you know it, you put it in the grave. That's why you bury it with dirt. I don't care how small it is, you still cover it. You bury it. That's right. Then God quicken it. Quicken it. And the seed. Burst open. Then it start changing. Little green stem. The resurrection is taking place. That's right. It's coming up another life. That's it. Huh? That's Before right. Before then, he can carry, the farmer can carry it in his hand yeah. or in his pocket. You get what I'm telling you? That's right. Amen. But God deal with the seed and resurrect it. Then it started growing. Growing. And growing. Mm -hmm. And growing. It come out. The way it did not go in. Right. The body of that grain is greater than what went in. That's right. Huh? That's Amen. right. The body that rose is greater, greater. than what went in. That's right. That's you right. see, before he went down, when he came to the apostles, if they was in a room, Now when the apostles in the room, he arise, and Jesus appeared unto them while the doors were shut. Him. What do the word spiritual mean? Spiritual. Good and that's the hang up. Amen. That's right. Jesus did not rise spirit. 
No, spiritual. Because the book plainly says they were afraid because they thought, thought they, had seen they a saw a spirit. Thought they seen a spirit. Preachers have said for years he rose spirit. No, he did not. No. Spirit and spiritual are different. But they were terrified and a frightened. Listen. In the book of St. Luke, chapter 24 and verse 37. Come on. But they were terrified and a fright. Why? And supposed that they had seen a spirit. So he convinced them and said what? And he said unto them, why are you troubled? Why are you troubled? And why do thoughts arise in your heart? What is it? Behold my hands. Look, oh, wait a minute. See, you can't pierce spirit. That's right. My hands. And my feet. And my feet. That it is I myself. And the question is, what kind of body was it? That's right. Handle me and see. That what? For a spirit. A spirit. Hath not flesh and bones. As what? As ye see me has. Spiritual is a body that function equal to spirit. That's right. Why? Because the body took on the glory of the spirit. That's, That's why the spirit glorified it with its own, own self. self. What is it about self it received? The full glory or the full function of self. He can appear and disappear. Spiritual is greater than natural. Because here you have a body living off spirit. Right. And still can perform like natural. That's right. <laughs> huh? That's right. You had a body that lived off spirit. Yeah. And still can function like natural. And they gave him a piece of broiled fish. You and don't listen. No. You don't cook for spirit. No, you don't. Spirit ain't on no diet. That's right. The flesh and blood mm. that rose is glorified. glorified. And by it being glorified, mm -hmm. it eliminated being a relative right. to the human race. That's right. Mary is not the mother of a body, a body. that changed no. from natural to spiritual. That's right. Because not only was the inside affected, the outside right. was affected. That's right. And Mary did not birth spiritual. Yeah. Mary birthed natural. Paul Plenty said that's not the body that shall that be. That shall be. That's right. So when we say no right. son of God went to the grave, we're talking about the natural life that was blood. Right. But the body that was placed in the grave still had the title son. son. Still had the shape son. That's still right. had the form son. That's still right. had the identity son. son. That's right. That's why he told me. Mm -hmm. Tell my disciples right. that I have ascended. But I have not ascended. Not ascended. Right. Tell them, tell them I have ascended to my father, but uh, I have not ascended. That's right. Jesus said, not to her, touch me now. In tell the them I ascend to my, my father. For I am not yet in give, give, give verse. In St. John chapter 20. And we're listen at, at this. And we're at verse 17. What is it? Jesus saith unto her. What? Touch me not. Don't touch me. For I am not yet ascended to my father. I have not yet ascended to my father. But go to my brothers. But you tell my brothers. And say unto them. What? I ascend unto my father. All right, wait a minute, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Are you confused? <laughs> Amen. Huh? Sound ahead. confusing, don't it? Yeah. Listen. Jesus saith unto her, touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my father. Here's, he says, I didn't ascend to my father. But go to my brethren but you and go say tell my brothers, unto them, I ascend unto my father. You tell them something else. <laughs> That's right. Huh? Go ahead. What you mean when you go to my brothers and tell them I ascend, mm -hmm. you tell them I'm back from the grave. That's it. The reason why I did not yet ascend to my father, I did not yet go up into the clouds and ascend above all heavens because I still got some work to do in the glorified state. You see, a glorified state representing a higher level of knowledge. You know why? Because while he was here, they didn't understand. But after he rose, then open he, they understand. Huh? Glory to the Father. Go ahead. Are you getting me? Go ahead. After he rose, then. And, and he said unto them. Look, glory, glory, glory. In the, you book, hear this? In, in the book of Luke 24 and verse 44. Come on, son. And he said unto them, these are the words which I spake unto you. 
While I was yet that all you, things must be fulfilled that are written in the law of Moses and the prophets and the psalms concerning me, then what? Then open he their understanding. Then open he what? Then open he their understanding. What was the reason? That they might understand the scriptures. <laughs> the resurrected body represent a higher level of knowledge. That's right. Huh? That's right. Thank God, don't you hear? Before he died, who do men say that I am? Some say thou art Elias or one of the other prophets. Who do you say that I am? Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. He said, flesh and blood have, have not, not revealed, revealed it to you. you. Which means the Son of God didn't give you that. That's right. The Son of God didn't give you that. That's but right. who gave it to you, Peter? My Father my or the father. Spirit, which is in heaven. That's right. Hmm? The, listen, the, flesh, the Son of God on his own wasn't even a giver of revelation. Amen. Holy Ghost gave the revelation. He plainly told Peter, Flesh and blood didn't reveal it. That's right. Jesus was flesh and blood. But he told Peter, flesh and blood didn't reveal that to you. Mm. Well, well, Jesus, who are you going to credit? My father. My father. Which is in heaven. Which is in heaven. Everything go back to the spirit. That's right. He's teaching us. They don't need to credit your flesh. You need the spirit. Go ahead, man. Huh? Go ahead. He's teaching. That's why he manifests himself in the flesh and kept referring to the spirit. The spirit this, the spirit that, the spirit the other. Why are you doing that, Jesus? I want to leave man an example that they should follow my steps. That's Just right. like I cater to the spirit and tell them without the spirit you can't do nothing. That's you got to do the same thing. same thing. That's what my church, that's why I manifest myself in the flesh. So my flesh represents a body. Go ahead. And that body that will come after me is the body of the Christ. Which is the church. That's right. And now I want the church. Go after the spirit. Go ahead. Cater to the spirit. Go ahead. Lean to the spirit. That's right. When you look at the flesh, it is written, you killed all the, all the day, day long. long. That's right.